So this is the suitcase that I take to Africa. It's a small, it's a duffel bag, it's a gym bag. And one of the things I always do is I have a nylon strap that clips because everybody has a black, a blue, whatever gym bag. Mine's got the green strap so that I can see it. So we'll open up, right? And here's all my stuff inside. You can see I've still got some extra room in my bag. It's well under the 33 pound weight limit for going to Africa. So there's still room. I may throw a couple extra things in, but I'm pretty much ready to go. So out here in the outside pocket, what do I have? First of all, I've got, I am dressed like I go to Africa. So I've got a nice big floppy hat. You want a big hat to protect yourself from the sun. I've got an outdoor quality. This is a Columbia nylon 50 SPF fishing, camping, hiking shirt. I like this one and I've got some Columbia hiking pants. This is what I wear to Africa. I have my Merrill shoes. You don't need hiking boots and you certainly don't want to go in spiffy, fancy shoes because you're going to be stepping in elephant poop for God's sakes. So you want some nice, rugged, robust clothing. So this is how I dress. This is how I roll when I go to Africa. So the hat, I'll take the hat off. In my bag, I have one of the cool Creative Photo Academy beanies because it can be cold in the morning. And when you go to Africa, you need three pair of clothes. So I'm wearing a pair of socks. I've got two pair of socks. I've got two pair of underwear. I'm wearing one. And in the outside, I have a bandana. What do you use the bandana for? I use this as a towel. If it's dusty and windy, I can tie it around my face. But whenever I travel, I always have a bandana. I mean, the cowboys were right about a lot of things and having a bandana with you is never wrong. Two underwears, two socks, a bandana. A raincoat. This is my raincoat. It's an REI compact travel raincoat. Very nice and small, folds up. This goes with me everywhere when I'm out photoing. It actually fits in my photo backpack. But here for Africa, it's gonna be in my suitcase. I have a pair of slippers. You know, my wife's family's from Hawaii. Hawaii, these are slippers. So I have a pair of slippers to go into the pool. An extra pair of the Merrill shoes. So I have two pair of shoes. I have a North Face polypropylene t-shirt that I can put underneath this shirt if it's cold out. So if I want to stay warmer, I have two other of the Columbia hiking style shirts. A pair of swim trunks, a pair of shorts for lounging around camp or if it's warm, if I want to go out with shorts on. I don't usually wear shorts in Africa though. I'm worried, you know, we've never had a problem, thank God, with insects, but you know, having long sleeves and everything for insects is, is better. I've got a polo shirt for lounging around the camp. I have a t-shirt. If I want to sleep in a t-shirt, I've got a, just a regular cotton Creative Photo Academy. Live to shoot, shoot to live t-shirt. Take that to Africa. I may probably trade that with somebody over there for something kind of cool. I've got two more pair of the Columbia slacks. So three shirts, three pants, three underwears, three socks. That's all you need. Well, I'm gone for two weeks. They do laundry over there. So for a dollar and 25 cents a day, you can get your laundry done. It's a lot easier than carrying all that stuff when you go. I have a lightweight nylon lined windbreaker. This is a marmot windbreaker. It's warm. I carry this whenever I go photoing because it folds up really small and goes in my camera bag if I need because the warm mornings can be cool. I have my toilet kit with vitamins, aspirin, insect repellent, sunscreen, prescription medications, toothbrush, toothpaste, all that stuff in a little Eagle Creek bag. I have a, the, that one's red, this one's blue. And this blue Eagle Creek bag has all of my camera photo accessory stuff in there that doesn't go in my camera bag. And I have a new device. This is the first time I'm taking this to Africa. This is pretty cool. I'm pretty excited about this. This is an Omni charger. Cool new device. This will charge your camera about 10 times off of the rechargeable battery that's built into it. It'll power your laptop for hours. It'll charge your phone about 15, 20 times. 
but there are nights in Africa where we don't have electricity. And I still want to be able to charge my camera batteries and I still want to be able to charge my laptop. So I'm going to take this with me. So this is what I take with me in my suitcase. So you have a weight restriction for Africa, 33 pounds. This bag, as I have it here, weighed about 22 pounds. So I still have more weight if I want. Um, but that's all you need to take. So ladies, you notice I didn't bring a make any makeup. I didn't bring a hair dryer. I'm gonna get a haircut. I'll have a nice crew cut before I go to Africa so my hair is really washed and wear. Um, you really gotta go simple. Simple, simple, simple. If you need some of that creature comfort, pack a little bit. But you don't really need it for Africa. You know, it's a wash and wear society. You know, you're out in the bush. Nobody cares what you look like. Nobody cares what you smell like because everything smells like animals there anyway, and we have a great time. It's absolutely amazing. If you get from here to 10 feet away from a lion, or a giraffe, or a hippo, or a rhino, or an elephant, it's the coolest thing you'll ever do in your entire life. I invite you to come out with us to Africa. Like I said, Kenya in August will be my eighth safari to Africa, and I would love to have you join me. We have a great time, you're always welcome. This is what I take, and when I go with the group, this is the size bag I take. This is exactly the bag I'll take in March when we're going to Tanzania and August when we're going to Kenya. Believe me, it's the simple, easy way to go. If you have any questions, write to me, mark at paulsphoto.com. Write on my Facebook page, Paul's Photo at Creative Photo Academy Facebook page. We're always here to answer for you. We have classes to help you learn how to do this, to learn how to pack right and get ready to go. Got any questions? Pete, do we get everything? Are we good to go? All right, so we're wrapping up. What to take in your suitcase. Woohoo!